Number 84. Miami Dolphins, Patrick Turner. Patrick, you're here today at the 2009 NFL Rookie Premier Photo Shoot. Tell us how excited you are that you're going to be appearing on your first Upper Deck Rookie Show. Oh, you know, ever since a, a young kid, everybody had a, that time where they collected, uh, you know, rookie cars and all type of player cars, whether it's baseball cars, football, and everything, but you know, just to finally be on one, it, you know, it, it's, it's really wild to see that, see that happen. And you know, I'm excited for it. And you know, uh, you know, it's, it's some kids out there who would really like to have it. Now let me ask you about autographs. Uh, do you do anything unusual with your signature? Do you add the number 84 to it? Do you spell your full name? Yeah, you know, I, I don't actually spell my whole full name, but you know, you could you could see it a little bit. You know, I got the P stacked on top of the T a little in my autograph and uh, you know you can read it out a little bit but you know uh, I'm gonna pick 84 with it and I always pick my number beside my my signature that's Let part of it. Do you consider it an honor to sign for the fans or is it kind of a hassle? Uh, it's an honor that somebody wants a signature and you know as a fan it, it could have that feeling of them being cl as close as a player that they can be without them being there you know it's a picture and also uh, a piece, a piece that the player once had and autographed, and you know, uh, it's, it's cool for a fan to have and save. Now let me ask you about unusual surfaces you've ever signed. Has anybody asked you to sign body parts or anything like that? Uh, no, nah, I haven't. I haven't signed any body parts. I've signed, yeah, I signed some arms actually. <laughs> I signed some arms, some forearms. There you go. Maybe those will turn into tattoos. As far as autographs from fellow collector or fellow football players, do you have any autographs in your private collection that you can share with us today? Uh, I, I don't have. I lost all of those cars. I either traded them away, gave them to somebody younger than me. But uh, I had a lot of cars growing up. You know, it's fun to have them, collect them, and trade them with your friends and things like that. But you know, I don't have any to this day. Not anymore. Let me ask you, as far as um, unique autographs out there that you'd love to have in your private collection, Barack Obama, Michael Jordan, anybody, who do you <laughs> want if you could have the chance to get it? Oh, I would have a Tiger Woods card, a, a Michael Jordan card. Uh, you know, it's a lot of great players, you know, over history. A Bay Roof card, a, a, this, those, just to name a few. Let me ask you about idols growing up. Who were some of the players that you idolized and you wanted to try to emulate out on the field once you got there? I really looked up to Jerry Rice, you know, as a young kid. And I had some of his cards, had some uh, Michael Irvin cards. And, you know, just the way they went about the game, uh, you could learn a lot from that. Let me ask you, here you are at the Coliseum, a place where you uh, made your name, obviously, in the college, college rank. What's it like being back here today, back in your old stomping grounds? Yeah, it feels good. It feels right at home. I was telling some of the guys, welcome, welcome to my house. And, uh, you know, Mark is out here. He has a feel for this place. And, you know, uh, it feels good to be right back in your home. Uh, we got here, got here sooner than I thought, you know. <laughs> Let me ask you about cherished moments in college. Is there one that you can share with us today that's still crystallized in your mind as far as just a great moment in time? Great moment in time? Uh, really, I would just have to say some of the greatest moments are the Rose Bowls that we've won, and you know those are always big games uh, towards the end of the season during the bowl season. And I have to say, all the Rose Bowls that we've won have been, you know, pretty big and stuck in my mind. Let me ask you about pregame rituals. Is there anything that you go through the morning of the game that you must do mentally before you actually go out on the field to play? Uh, some of the things, you know, I, I make sure I get up early on the game day and make sure I stretch out a little bit and then, you know, really I'll just go through, go through my playbook once uh, over the stuff that, you know, we've, we've been running through uh, that whole week to prepare for the game and really that's, those are the two biggest things that I get up and do. What makes you this year's most valuable rookie player, Patrick? Uh, you know, I'm going to go out there and make plays, you know. When it's on the line, I'm, I'm ready to make a play any given time.